This is Pretty Penny. I'm David and we make videos about passive income, investing and making your money work harder for you. Hit the subscribe button if that sounds interesting to you. Hi everyone, today I'm talking about Junior ISAs, why you might want to open one for your child, the pros and cons of opening a Junior ISA, the different kinds of Junior ISA you could open and then later on in this video I will be opening a brand new Junior ISA stocks and shares account with Vanguard for my boy and hopefully get him off on a good start in his savings. So really a Junior ISA is, uh, is a way to encourage long term saving for under 18s. Um, it's tax free savings so any interest you earn at the end of a year won't be taxed compared to for example a current account where whatever small amount of interest you may make on that you will be taxed. Okay, so you can open a junior ISA for a child if you have parental responsibility for that child. It's good insofar that then that becomes an account where relatives, friends, family can deposit some money and you know it'll be in there nice and safe, earning better interest than a current account and hopefully over a period of time that'll grow into something that could be used for uh, university fees, maybe deposit on a house, new car, something like that. Typically an ISA is going to pay more than a current account or an e-savings account or something like that the idea is that you will get a better return on your money but it is locked up for quite some time in actual fact any money you put into a junior ISA is going to remain locked until the child is 18 years old there is no getting past that it is locked until they're 18 years old um, and at which point it becomes the child's money as a parent you will have absolutely no say whatsoever in how that money is spent or what's done with it. You can open an ISA with the best intentions, uh, with your ideas about how uh, the child might spend that money once, once it matures and once it's available to them, but you have absolutely no say uh, from a legal standpoint as to how that money will be spent. So it's something to think about if that is something that you'd be concerned about. So how much money can you put into a junior ISA? Well, the junior ISA value for 2019-20 is £4,368 per child and that can be spread across a cash ISA which will typically pay a fixed percentage um, or you can invest it in stocks and shares ISA which obviously can go up and go down. Each child can have two junior ISA accounts so you could spread your tax free allowance across a cash ISA and a stocks and share ISA if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, so here we are on the Vanguard Investor website. I'm just going to log into my account here. So the reason I chose Vanguard is because um, I'm interested in the stocks and shares um, junior ISA for for my boy. Um, I recommend that you invest for a minimum of five years if you're going for stocks and shares, but since since uh, our child hasn't hit two years old yet and this will be locked up until he's 18 that gives him uh, over 16 years to um, to invest this money so I'm confident that a stocks and shares uh, option will return better uh, benefits than a, a cash account so Vanguard um, <clears throat> offer very low fees compared to some of their other um, competitors this is not financial advice so I'm not going to try and justify that in any way um, I've done my research I'm happy with Vanguard's products and um, this is the this is the step we're going for so we're I forget all this this is my account so we're going to open a Vanguard Junior ISA and we're going to open an account I want to start an application so before you apply you do need to have some things in your child's date of birth and if you have a national insurance number uh, you're going to need that click start my application okay so when was your child born again I'm just deleting <laughs> redacting blurring out these particular details you don't need to know them but uh, I need to put them in. So, things to be aware of. Uh, there will be a fee for using this platform for each fund you invest in. 
fine. Child is eligible for, eligible for a junior ISA if they are under 18. Born after the 3rd of January 2011, do not have child trust fund. These are the terms and conditions. I'm not going to read them all out to you. And I have read these. Proceed. Now, it is important that you understand what you're signing up for. Of course, so if you have any difficulties with anything you're reading, please seek financial advice from a professional. So how would you like to invest in your junior ISA? Vanguard offer a huge amount of choices um, for different funds, different trackers, um, and all of them can look quite complicated and quite scary. Um, but essentially they follow different stocks in each, uh, different stock markets and things in each. Uh, each option will be made up of all those uh, variety of different things. So um, if you prefer the UK stock market, then you might look for a fund or uh, an option for that. It would be weighted in that favor. If you prefer American stocks and shares, then you can look for that. If you prefer global, you can go for that. All these different things. Again, I've done a little bit of reading around this already, and I like these life strategy funds here. So there's a 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. So that is the ratio of uh, stocks to bonds. So 20% stocks, 80% bonds. 40% stocks, 60% bonds. And this accumulation means basically that any investments you get will be reinvested. So that uh, will take advantage of uh, compounding. And there will be another video for that. I will link to that. If you want to know a little bit more about compound interest and all the benefits that brings, you should definitely check that out. So this is the one that, whoops, this is the one that uh, we're interested in for investing in. So you can see here that um, our lad hasn't uh, got any of his junior ISA allowance used this year yet. So I will be investing this full sum of £4,368. He is fortunate enough to have had some gift money gifted to him. Um, and his parents have been saving a little bit for him. And uh, we're going to uh, put together this money to max out his junior allowance for 2019-2020 year. Okay, so I'm back up here at this life strategy. 60% uh, equity fund accumulation. You can find here some key investor information. So this will just give you a little overview, the objectives and the investment policy here. Risk and reward profile, so the lower the risk, uh, typically lower rewards, higher risk, typically higher rewards. Now, um, the advice again from the uh, professionals and the general consensus is that um, for riskier assets you would want to leave the the fund um, operating for as long as possible that way you can ride out any short term uh, swings short to medium term swings that may influence the value of your investment so you can see that this one sits around about somewhere in the middle and um, again as i said i'll be leaving this for around about 16 years i have no choice in that once the money's gone it's gone so this is this is a fair amount of risk and I would expect to see a reasonable return on this. Some information about the charges, uh, entry and exit charges, ongoing fees, um, that uh, how Vanguard make their money. And down here, a little graph on past performance. So you can see this, uh, this fund that they offer came into being in 2015, made 2.5%, 18.3% 2016, 8.7% 2017 and down 3.1% in 2018. So you can see that overall, this is a good result, and that's that's for four years. So you would expect this fund probably to grow over time. Um, there's no guarantees to that, of course. As I say, for the length of period of time that we're investing, I am happy enough um, and satisfied that uh, I am willing to accept those risks. So we close out of that. 
So, a single payment of four, three, six, eight, which will max out his allowance for this uh, period. You can, of course, split your investment across lots of funds, and not just in these life strategy ones, but in any of the uh, any of the funds Vanguard offer. Um, but I'm going for. Uh, the full amount of money in this 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 one fund. So I click next, and some information about my son. So there we are. The uh, the last thing to do now is to actually send the money. So this is the last step. If you do not want your child to be to the total control of this money by the time they hit eighteen. It is time to stop now. Somebody once put a good question to me and said, are you happy that your child will buy drugs with this? If the answer is no, then this may not be the right <laughs> the right uh, option for you. Your child will have total control of this money. So think about it. I'm happy it's my job as a parent to teach him what's good for his money and what isn't. So here we go. So you can see here we are all set. Everything's ready. Okay, so you get presented with a final screen around the total cost of investing. There is a costs and charges disclosure. Everything is above board. Everything is very transparent. There is nothing at this point that should come as a surprise. Um, so once again, you're asked to confirm and submit. And that's all there is to it. So maybe in a year from now we'll come back and do a review to see how that investment has gone. But it's not something we're going to be looking at every day because the ups and downs of uh, stocks and shares and bonds and all the things that can happen on a daily basis on the financial world mean that this will rise and fall. Uh, but over a longer period of time, hopefully we will see that upward trend. And uh, certainly in the medium to long term, um, I'll be checking back on this and maybe do future videos on it uh, to let you know how this is getting on. So thanks for watching. So that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully that uh, amount of money will grow into a nice little nest egg over the years. It's not the kind of thing we're going to be looking at day to day. This is very much for the long term. If you have found this video useful, please leave a like. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, just stick them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to every single one of them. Um, if this is the kind of content you want to see more of, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well will let you know every time I post a new video. Alright, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.